Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, database session uh, state design pattern. This database session state design pattern belongs to session state patterns and uh, this session state patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, we will see the explanation of uh, database session state design pattern. Uh, this is the explanation. Store session data as committed data in the database. Uh, first, we will see what is session. Uh, here you can see John user and uh, this is the Yahoo server. Uh, suppose uh, John wants to log into the Yahoo server. So he has to type Yahoo URL in the browser. So once he enter the Yahoo URL and say submit, uh, he can see username and password uh, uh, which he has to enter as a text box. And once he enter username and password, uh, the John user will log into the Yahoo server. So once he logged in, uh, for the John user session will be created. Uh, what is the use of this session is uh, to keep track of the uh, user. In this case, uh, this session uh, is used to keep track of the uh, John, uh, John uh, user information. So this uh, session will uh, have information like machine ID from which uh, IP address he has logged in, username and uh, we can add uh, some more additional information in the session, okay, which is related to uh, John. So once uh, John is logged into the Yahoo server, uh, the session related to John will be created. Once he logged out, uh, the session will be discarded from the uh, memory. Uh, this is about uh, session. Uh, so as per uh, database session state uh, design pattern, what we have to do is uh, we have to save uh, John session information in the database. You can see database here just to save the John information in the uh, John session information in the database. So that is what the database session state uh, design pattern is uh, saying. Uh, so if you read this one, store session data as committed data in the database. So once he logged in, uh, John session will be created and he will do a lot of operation. So before uh, he logged out, just to save that information in the uh, database so that uh, when he when he visit this site again we can uh, get the information from the database and uh, we can reuse it also we can use uh, uh, the database session state uh, in clustering and failover okay, that's what uh, the second uh, sentence is telling clustering and failover with database session states are usually more straightforward at least with the regular uh, solution so we can use uh, database session state uh, design pattern in clustering and failover okay so here uh, you can see a client and uh, suppose say this is a yahoo server and uh, this is a db okay and uh, client is john so he is uh, he is sending a request to the yahoo server so once uh, server receive the request uh, the john session will be created okay and uh, till he is using uh, some functionality in uh, yahoo server uh, the john session will be there so before he uh, logged out uh, as per uh, database uh, design pattern we have to just save john information in the database okay and uh, once he logged out it will come and uh, come out of uh, come out of the server and uh, uh, suppose say uh, the john is logging again uh, to the Yahoo server. So John send a request to the server and once server receive the request uh, uh, the client will uh, send the session ID. So using the session ID uh, okay server will come to know this user has already logged into this uh, server. So what it will do is using the session ID it will pull uh, uh, the John session information from the database and uh, then it will use uh, that John, inf John uh, session information for their uh, uh, business logic. Uh, so in this way, we no need to uh, we no need to formulate uh, John session data again and again. We are reusing the John session which uh, uh, which we stored uh, when when we visited the first time. Okay. So that is what uh, this uh, design pattern and we can uh, use it in the clustering and uh, failover mechanism and always uh, if you use uh, this design pattern always the performance will be the issue because for each request we have to pull data from the 
database uh, so in this case we are pulling john session information from the database so all uh, so the database operation is always uh, uh, costly costlier operation and uh, it will uh, degrade the performance so if you if you go for uh, this uh, database session uh, state design pattern the performance will be the issue okay and uh, this is about uh, database uh, state uh, design pattern thanks for watching bye